people, 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 people. Kepa sa sa pa say what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news is the reaction of some family members, mothers, matey, girlfriend, to when some sort of notorious gangster gets taken out by the popo or by the ops. Now, people, whenever these family members lose their life, a notorious gangster, we always hear all sorts of cowballing, as if that person was not out there creating chaos and catastrophe. Now, people, I am speaking specifically about the case of a youth that is called Blue Blue. He was taken out on Spanish Town Road. There is controversy, conflicting story as to how he died. However, people, the good thing is that he lost his life and we have to say happy redance. However, what I want to speak about is the reaction of the mother, a lady whose name is Cindy, not 100% sure that he is, she is his mother, a family member, whatever the case is, the message is still the same. So people, assuming you did not hear that voice note or the audio from that video, I am going to play it and then I am going to tell you exactly what I have to say. Now people, like I said, that was the voice of Candy speaking to Blue Blue or trying to get some sort of communication link with Blue Blue as he lie there on the ground spread out like a carpet Alibaba and broke up, foot broke up all sorts of can. He was out cold and basically Candy was laying on top of him, hugging him up and then putting his little fragile hands that were broken at least four places over her head so people they were basically hugging however homeboy um blue blue he did not have any sorts of feeling and i mean that literally and figuratively now people when i see stuff like this i don't want to sound insensitive because i know that a mother or a friend meaning candy just lost a loved one however people the truth and the fact is that he was no saint he was no altar boy so therefore, I say this to say that we should reserve that type of response for persons that actually lost somebody that was living a decent life, a law-abiding, tax-paying citizen. And even if he was not paying any sorts of taxes, even if he was a good person, you were not out there taking out people. You was not out there robbing people. Ray T. Lele, blah, blah, bling. So people, I say this to say that whenever... One of those culprits are gone. These persons should not be highlighted. These persons should not have that type of response unless, of course, you are facilitating. You are the type of person that know that this person is out there robbing people, taking away people, doing all manner of evil. However, when them gone, you act like they were good people. And even in some communities, we see that the residents themselves, they are facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y as it pertains to a lot of these gunmen, as it pertains to a lot of these dance. So people, this is my recommendation and people, I don't know if the relevant authority is going to listen. Since these people miss these people so much and them feel as if he is gone for good, why don't you go in the casket with him? And people, when I talk about you, I am speaking about anybody that facilitate the F-U-C-K-R-Y. That is the facilitator of these gunmen, meaning the matey, the girlfriend, whatever family member, the mama, the papa. Now, people, I am just saying that if you are the type of family member that don't know that your friend or your family is a gunman, because people are truth and the fact is that sometimes people live a double life. However, people, it is kind of hard to think that you have a family member that is a gunman or a criminal or a hitman and you don't have any sorts of idea. 
you don't have the slightest inclination that this person is out there doing something wrong. This person does not have a nine to five because people you see him sleeping all day. When night come, he is out. Then him come back with all sorts of money. Nobody asks any sorts of question because you are the beneficiary. So people, I say this to say that if you legitimately don't know that this person is a criminal and people, I don't know how. I understand. However, if you are the type of person that is facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y, I would recommend that you go in the casket with that person. Now, people, the truth and the fact is that whenever you live a certain type of lifestyle, you are going to go out one of two ways. By the hook or the crook. And by the hook or the crook, I am meaning that you are either going to be saved by some sort of getting locked up getting charged, getting convicted for one of your crimes are either the worse way or even the better way. You are taking out, eliminating taxpayers, spending money to basically make you live in a big yard. So people I say this to say that all of the people that you took out, the persons that did not get a chance because you were so cold and callous. It is called payback time, it is called karma. So therefore, if you live by the gun, you should also surely die by the gun. And people, nothing is wrong. When the popo or the ops them take you out, if it was up to me, I would allow all of you guys to basically take away each other. One by one, two by two, ten by ten, whatever the case is. Because the truth and the fact is that it is reason for celebration when some sort of low life loses their life. And the truth and the fact is that we have to also take into consideration the amount of mothers, the amount of kids, the amount of parents, the amount of girlfriends, the amount of loved ones that have to cry at the hands of these people. So people, I am just saying, if you are one of those type of persons like Blue Blue that have multiple blood on your shoulder, have multiple people that you take away, nothing is wrong when somebody basically take off your head off of your shoulder or put something hot in your head on your shoulder point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a man dressed in his security uniform. He was conned up in that Springs Plaza in Tree, close to Spencer's KFC, right there in the center of Tree, close to the clock. Now people, when I saw that video, I assumed that... It looks as if them can up an next innocent person. He was going to an ATM. He was going to withdraw or deposit some sort of cash. However, people, some man roll up and blaze him up. He was hit at least twice. Once in the mouth and the next time in the shoulder, in the upper torso. Now, people, like I said, when I saw this video, I said that, wow, that is crazy. An innocent person about to lose his life. And people, based on the information that I got, it is said that he lost his life after the video was taken. So, people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the edited version of the video because you understand that this is YouTube. And then I am going to give you the facts of exactly what took place and why these gunmen, they are slick. I'm on here, go draw my boss. We call the police, the police are coming here. No, nobody now, no care, nobody now, no care, go out the mask. Don't get up, don't get up, 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 get up
I'm a I'm a try thing, I'm a try thing. Jaja, nobody now, no care, Give me another one, quick. Jaja. Now, people, like I said, when I first got this video, I did not know the details. However, people, after a couple of minutes, somebody contacted me as usual. And they told me that the name of this person is Pops. He is a security guard. He is from Ambrook Lane. However, people, there's a whole big story about this youth and about the situation. Based on what you heard from the voice note in the video, he sounds as if he is trying to talk. However, people, it is kind of hard to talk when you have a lead in your mouth. That means that you get caught up in your mouth. In your chest from the back, I don't know exactly where was the entry or exit wound, and I think in the foot also. So you hear the people them basically frantic, trying to say if there's some sort of cab, somebody with some sort of care if you care him. And people, you understand that as it pertains to Jamaica, there's an absence of any sorts of emergency vehicle, meaning ambulance, meaning popo. So basically, these people can him up, and they know say more than likely. From where he got conned up, he would not make it. He was going to be a scully. Bleed out. And people, I think that that is exactly what took place. So people, like I said, these gunmen, they are slick. They make it look like a some sort of robbery, random robbery. However, people, the truth and the facts is that based on the information that I got, it was a hit because he did not comply. Point blank and period. Now, people... Like I said before, this youth is from Ambrook Lane. Now in Ambrook Lane, you have a set of people. They are called Dodo. They are from one section of Ambrook Lane. Ambrook Lane is divided in two sets. Dodo them want to control the place. Dodo them is a set of people that are scammers. Them link with some other people from um, Reddles Road. So people, you yes, see, the scammer them that were once in Montego Bay and all over Jamaica and other places are now in the garrison in Kingston and in this case I am speaking about Ambrook Lane. So people I say this to say that Pops is not the first and Pops will not be the last as it pertains to Ambrook Lane. I am speaking about innocent persons that lost their life and people this is their crime. They did not want to follow the orders. They did not want to do what Dodo, Dodo and him friend them are saying. And people, this is Dodo on the screen right here. If you look at your screen, he is a top man. Dodo wants to be the Don. Dodo wants to be the shot caller. Dodo wants to be the top scammer. So therefore, if him asks anybody to do any sorts of job and they reject or deny or decline, they are going to lose their life. So people, like I said, Pops is a third person. Three months ago, a person whose name is Sherlock Dixon, O-C-A-K-A, -A, Shaka, he was also taken out. Before that, a next person, Andrew Blacks, and people not to be confused with the producer, I am speaking about Andrew Blacks. He lost his life. However, people, in that incident, it is said that a lady, and this lady's name is Candy, she saw exactly what was going on, what was transpiring, and people, Candy and her whole family, them have to take for themselves. Because they were labelled as some sort of informer and Ambrook Lane by Dodo and him friend. So people at the end of the day, we see say, an next innocent youth lose his life just because he did not want to comply with the orders of these so-called dons, these evil men that are running off certain places, certain garrison, certain places in Jamaica. Because people, we see say, these youths are demonic and it does not matter if you are the ops. So people may just as say, you could be a hard-working, legal, law-abiding, tax-paying citizen. However, if you don't want to comply with Dodo, you can lose your life. And people, it is at least three so far that we know that is noted, point blank and period. So people, like you see, you have some dons in these garrisons that they do more evil than good. 
So therefore, when you weigh the pros and the cons, even though persons are reliant and dependent on them for all sorts of financial support, the chaos and the catastrophe and the destruction that they bring to these garrisons is even worse than the good that they do. So therefore, it far outweighs the good, the pros and the cons. The cons is higher, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.